Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm Roos and welcome to another awesome video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three different ways you can mirror your iPhone or connect your iPhone to your TV. For free, completely free, it's wireless and it takes one and it takes one click, literally. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so I said one click. So basically what I'm gonna do is take a look, take a look at the TV, okay? I'm gonna just click one time, okay? One click and we are connected in the background as you can see. I don't know if we're connected or not. Let me just see. Okay, yeah, we are connected. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the T take a look at the TV, by the way. It is running smoothly. As you can see, it is awesome. I can even use your camera if I want to. So let me just uh let me just show you my room actually. Let me show you my room on the TV. Just keep a keep an eye on the TV, and that is my working bench, as you can see. I work out on that. <laughs> yeah. It is awesome. So uh, yeah, let's just dive right into it. All right, so first up, first up is your iPhone. Really simple. Just make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi. That is it. So go into your settings page. Now inside the, inside the settings, go into your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi or hotspot or whatever is available to you. So in this case, I'll just make sure my iPhone is connected to my home Wi-Fi. That is called Rizzy. Super, yes, sir. It's a super internet. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we have to make sure the TV is also on the exact same connection. So let's do that. All right, doesn't matter what TV you have, really simple. The first thing you wanna do is go to your settings page and go all the way down to general settings. Now, inside the general settings, you have the option. You have the option for network settings and inside the network settings, you have a couple options. If you have never done this before, I will recommend you click on the open network settings and it will ask you if you wanna go wireless or wired, it doesn't matter as long as it is connected to the exact, exact same modem or router. In this case, just click on wireless and just select the home Wi-Fi that you can see. That is my home Wi-Fi, as you can see. Again, it's pretty super. Click on it and just make sure it is connected. That is pretty much all you have to do. Click OK and that is pretty much all you have to do. This is really important. You have to make sure your iPhone and your TV are on the exact same connection to communicate better. This is really important no matter what method you use. You have to make sure your iPhone and your TV are on the exact same Wi-Fi network. Or if you have a hotspot, you can use your hotspot as well. Okay, so once the Wi-Fi is connected, now it's time for method number one. Really simple, really easy, one of the best methods you can try to mirror your iPhone or connect your iPhone to TV. Okay, so go again into the settings page inside the general settings and find a settings called Apple AirPlay or HomeKit or something. So in this case, it is called Apple AirPlay. In this, in this case, it's called Apple AirPlay settings. So open that, wait for it. And as you can see, it should look exactly, exactly like this. Really simple, nothing fancy at all. Now what you wanna do is take out your iPhone. Now what you wanna do is to go into your control settings and click on that screen mirroring option right there. Click on it and it should automatically show you the TV that is running the Apple AirPlay settings in the background. So all you have to do is just one click and we are connected. And we are connected. Pretty amazing, right? And it's really smooth. I wanna show you how smooth this actually is. So let me, show, let me just open up a camera and you can see I can use it as a webcam as well. Really smooth, by the way. It's not recorded or anything. It's really live. And let me just take a photo and see if it works. So, oh yeah, photo is not good, but yeah, it's so good. Look at this. By the way, you can do tons with this. I don't wanna waste much of your time because we have to move to the method number two, but you can play games if you want to. Let me just open up Clash of Clans. And as you can see, my town center is so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really not, I'm just too old for this. <laughs> but yeah, I love, I love this. I loved, uh, but yeah, I'm just not gonna go into the detail, but let's move to the method number two. All right, so the method number two is gonna go is gonna be the Chromecast. It doesn't have it doesn't matter what it doesn't matter if your TV has a Chromecast or not. It should work if it is connected to the home Wi-Fi. Not gonna lie to you, you don't need a Chromecast. But if you do want if you do want to get Chromecast, all the links will be in the description box below. These are affiliate links from the Amazon. Be sure to check it out. Okay, so to explain this, I have to show you something. Every time you open anything like YouTube on your phone, you can see a icon called screen mirroring right next to the 
uh, right in the top right corner. As you can see, that is the Chromecast or cast option. Really simple, really easy. And this will work with literally anything. In this case, I have showed you the YouTube. Let me just open up a, uh, let me just open up Netflix. Okay, so I have opened up Netflix and you can see at the top right corner, I have, an, I have, the, I have the same icon in the uh, in the Netflix as well. I'm gonna show you another app just for just for this. Just for an example, I'm just gonna show you another app. This is Twitch, and as you can see at the right top left corner or top center, there is a Chromecast option as well. And this will work with literally like photo. This will work with photos, YouTube, Google videos, Google photos. I'm, I'm why I'm talking about Google videos. That's YouTube. But yeah, this will, this will work with Google photos as well. Let me just open up Google photos. So in this case, that is my Google photos. Every single time I open a photo, you can see there is a screen mirroring option at the top center or top right corner, as you can see right there. So just for the sake of this example, as you can see, there's nothing on my TV. All you have to do is just click on that icon and it should automatically search for any available Chromecast TVs that is connected. So in this case, I'm just gonna click OK, click Allow, give all the permissions, and it's gonna scan for the TVs. And as you can see, that is my TCL that is running. Give all the permissions and that is pretty much it. So for the sake of this video, I'll just use some of the, let's just say YouTube. Let's say if I want to stream a YouTube video, let me just search something. All right, so I found a video. Let's say that is also my YouTube channel. If you love, if you enjoy uh, cameras and stuff like that, this is the channel to follow. I'm not active on this, but, but what you wanna do is to, before opening a video, all you have to do is just click on that and it should list all the TVs that are available. In this case, just select yours. In my case, that is going to be the second one. And as you can see, it is opening YouTube as we speak. It's opening YouTube and all you have to do is just click on the video you wanna play. Let's say I wanna play that video. Click option to play and it's gonna be hey, playing. Hey everybody, I'm Rizzi watching the YouTube guide. Today, we're going into the past and picking up the king. I don't know if it's a king or not, but this is probably the most sold can camera. Let me pause that, but yeah, really awesome. You can seek if you want to. So let me just move to the front. And as you can see, it is also working in the background. That is method number two. Really awesome. And you can just play and it's gonna play. You can pause. The audio will be coming from the TV, which is awesome. But yeah, that's how you use the method number two, which will work with anything. And if you, by the way, it will also work with Spotify as well. So in this case, all you have to do is just click on the listening option and it should automatically search for the TV or your, uh, it should also list for the TV. It will, it will automatically scan for the TVs that is available. It is really awesome, really amazing feature. So yeah, get used to it. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will help you out. Okay, it's uh, time for method number three. All right, so method number three requires third party apps. I know as much as I hate it, everybody do. So in this case, let's just dive right into it and get it over with, okay? So download a free app called Replica. All right, so download a free app called Replica. Screen mirroring, cast or mirror. All the links will be in the description box below and a detailed article on the website as well. So be sure to check that out. Be sure to check that out. Okay, so now what you wanna do is just open it up, completely free by the way. And once you open it up, just swipe down to refresh and it will automatically list all the TVs that are available. In this case, as you can see, that is my Samsung in the background. All you have to do is just select your TV. Let me just do that. And it's gonna ask you a couple options. What I wanna do is screen mirroring, not do, do you wanna do that. And it's gonna ask you to purchase, but if you look at the top right corner, you have the option to skip the purchasing screen, as you can see. I don't know if you can see right there. It is in the corner right right here. So yeah, it's right there. So all you have to do is just skip the purchasing screen and it's gonna ask you to start the broadcast. Really simple, really easy. Just click on start broadcast, give it a couple seconds and uh, and it's we are connected, I think. I think we are connected. <laughs> so give it a couple seconds, really simple, really easy and we are connected, by the way. <coughs> Oh, and it gives you that sound as well. So yeah, it is pretty slow. Not gonna lie to you. It is tiny bit laggy as compared to other methods, but it works. It's free. It's easy. It's really simple. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what should I expect more, but the smooth, it's really smooth though. 
but there is a tiny, tiny bit of lag, but I'm sure it's gonna fix it if you have a decent connection. In this case, I don't have a decent connection, honestly. So yeah, just a better connection should fix it. And that's the third way. Really simple, really easy. I know it's not my favorite method to mirror your connect, mirror or connect to your iPhone, but it is what it is. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. That's uh, pretty much it, by the way. If you wanna stop, really simple, go into the replica app. All you have to do is just click stop. And as you can see in the in the corner, it is being stopped. So just give it a couple of seconds. On the, on the iPhone, it's being stopped as well. So yeah, give it a couple of seconds. It's a tiny bit leggy, but it works. It works for the photos and its stuff. I mean, it is what it is. What it is. So yeah, it's, oh, I haven't clicked on the stop. Okay, there, there you go. I have clicked on the stop and that's how you connect. That's how you stop. Really simple, really easy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the tutorial and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely help you out. I mean, I, I, I love you guys. I love my community. I love the people who watch my video. So I appreciate that. I thank you for that. So be sure to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, again, comment down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.